So we're in the middle of Ohio. Not even. Yeah, we're not even in the middle of Ohio. We we're barely left. Columbus. <laughs> and Max and Tyler are buying shirts with animals on them because they're weird. Uh -huh. Those girls are pretty good, though. Yeah, yeah dude. Like when you bite into them, they like just they dissolve. Talk. Do you do you work for Skittles? Is this is mm -hmm. a commercial. Skittles. Let's freaking get there. Jesus. Film the Four wheels moves the body. Eighteen wheels moves the soul. <laughs> Spirit. Whatever. God bless America. Hey, from Mexico. <laughs> I love it. We are in Love Park, guys. AKA the most famous skate spot of all time. AKA you get shot in the face if you skate here. My name is Timothy. Y'all want to my ID? Yeah. You I'm my ID? You no, I'm just kidding. You, no, I'm a short kid. Yeah. You were born for this. Yeah. This is what you. This is what you do. <laughs> <laughs> sure, it wasn't Jay's. Be a little weird. I warm up in the morning. I'm just like, you two, what's up, guys? We're here, my freaking. <laughs> just gets me going for the yeah, day. We're getting using it. You know, with the first four coupons for both our free sandwiches. That's your. What's up, guys? We are at Black Diamond Skate Park in New Jersey, which is kind of close to Philadelphia. We're skating with Kerry Getz, and he's shredding. But right now, you got Wes with an Ollie. So when you come to Philadelphia, you gotta skate the three block. Sick montage of falling. Yeah, at least we got a sick montage of me being not sick. Or when we're still here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs>
Alright guys, so it's no secret, Revenge has been skating Philadelphia the last couple years. I myself have been there four times, and every time I'm there, it's just, it's a great time. I love that city. And uh, the reason I made this video is because I didn't get a chance to use all of the footage from the May trip um, in We Are Revenge 20. So I was like, alright, well I'll make uh, this video, like which is like a director's cut. And then I had some footage from our trip last month at the end of February, and I threw that in there too. So hope you guys liked it. Um, there's definitely some new footage you haven't seen in this one. Um, but the last two times I've been there, I've been fortunate enough to uh, skate with Kerry Getz. Um, he's nice enough to meet up with us and, you know, hang out. Um, and the last time I was there, I got a chance to sit down with him and, and talk to him about some things. And it, it was just crazy because I've been watching this guy skate and following his career since I was 14, once this, when I started skating. And, uh, and like, I was all of a sudden sitting there at his, at his mi own mini ramp talking to him and skating with him. Um, but... It was really refreshing because, you know, I imagine a lot of pros out there um, get kind of like lost in the like the money, the media, just like what it is to be like a professional skateboarder. Um, but with with Kerry, it's not like that at all. Like he just feels like you know one of the dudes, and um, he through everything that's happened, he is definitely still 100% pure skateboarder. Um, he has, like, the well-being of skateboarding on mind, you know? Like, he, that's that's what he cares about is, like, you know, being true to skateboarding, and that was really awesome to see. But I'm not going to get too much, you guys, I promise. I am going to do a giveaway, though, guys. I like to give back to you guys on my YouTube channel, and this giveaway is for everyone in the Philadelphia area. Um, it, well, I guess it's open to the whole world, but you'd have to be really determined to win this if you lived everywhere else. Um... But there's a skate shop in Philadelphia called Nocturnal Skate Shop. It's actually owned by Kerry Getz, and it's been there for over 10 years. They do great things for the skate community, and uh, I stopped in on my last trip, and I was like, Kerry, I'm going to do something, bud. Here is a free revenge deck. Um, you know, you can sell this at Nocturnal, and um, I also bought this uh, Love Park, you know, the white Love Park Nocturnal tee. So, um... I can't wear this, and I was like, I might as well give it away online, right? So how you win this is, uh, you, when you need a deck, make a stop at Nocturnal, and the first person to buy that revenge deck and hold it up and take a picture of them holding them up, holding the deck up in Nocturnal, post that picture on our Facebook, and the first person to do that will get this revenge tee, this Love Park Nocturnal tee. But I'll actually, how about that? I'll throw in a revenge tee. You guys will get this uh, Nocturnal tee, you'll get a revenge tee, and I'll throw in some stickers and some goodies. A nice little package for whoever, the first person to ever buy that deck. So uh, that's my way of kind of giving back to the world of Philadelphia. Um... But yeah, I'm going to go. I've been talking for way too long. I do have one more thing to say. As you guys know, Love Park uh, is in Philadelphia. And to me, that will always be the most famous skate spot of all time. Unfortunately, there's rumors that it's going to be destroyed this year with City Hall, of another famous skate spot, just got erased from downtown. Um, I, I don't think that's a rumor. I think it's actually happening. Love Park will not last another year, unfortunately. And uh, I was there. I was like, this is the last time. I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to be here. So I might as well take a piece of it with me. Boom, this is a piece of Love Park. Um, in fact, like the, the four stair that has the ledge going out um, next to the Welcome Center, this is like the, the slab of concrete right before it. Um, they, were, they were breaking it up for something. I don't know what they were doing. I don't know who did it, but uh, this piece was just laying in the empty spot where that, where that piece of tile used to be. And so, I mean, imagine how many tricks have been done after rolling over this piece of uh, granite. And uh, I saw it, and I was like, I'm taking that with me. I mean, this is like, this is the bit, one of the coolest things ever to me, having a piece of actual Love Park. Uh, but I just want to share that with you guys. I'm pretty psyched on this. So um, I will talk to you later. Subscribe or die. No, no. See, I throw things in my videos. If I threw this, it would, like, destroy my entire room. And when you can't throw Love Park, who would throw Love Park?
<laughs> you just juke that girl out, and you had no idea. <laughs> what does that even mean? What is juke? That's a jukebox? No, like when you're playing Madden and you just wait on the juke button to spin around. What are you doing in Oh, I, oh okay. That's what you just did. <laughs> I look stupid right now. <laughs> yeah, All right. I'm getting it.